let's talk about the movie custodian custodian is a movie from the stables of the flaming sword ministries dallas texas all right let's dive in straight into it um the movie was written by kenny day and wale ade the dop on the set was ade modauda and midas media and it was edited by wola bini and produced by wale ade and margaret the director on the set was wale ade it features numerous casts so um, we're not going to be going into the, uh, the casting for now or uh, just because of our time all right uh, it tells the story of how the ark of god was taken from the family of Mr. Mike and um, Manila um, in the sense that the fellowship was held in their house and then Manila didn't like it and then uh, she frustrated all the efforts of the fellowship members and then eventually the fellowship was taken away from her house and taken to the house of another family and the other family accepted it and their life began to be turned their life turned around for good Meanwhile, Manila lost her job. She was a career woman, and then she lost her job. Her husband was in support of the fellowship, um, but her, she wasn't in support of, of the fellowship. I like the concept. You know, it's more, oftentimes in most movies we see that it's the men that are, that, 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 are not, that are not religious. But in this um, case, it was the woman, and then the man was, uh, was religious. So I like that uh, fact. I like, I like the way they illustrated uh, this one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, straight up to the good and the bad. I like the drone shots. The drone shots in this movie were so beautiful and the drone flew so high. The next thing was that the story was good. It tells the story of Obededom. They tried to bring in the story of Obededom and the Ark of God and they depicted it well. All right, the illustration was beautiful. The camera was okay. It was beautiful. The camera looked beautiful. The picture quality was beautiful and the costuming for each character was appropriate as well. All right, straight up to the things I think were flaws in the film. At the, in the first, uh, no, not the first scene, in one of the scenes when Mike and Manila were having a quarrel when the fellowship members came into the house, it was just one scene that was taken from the beginning, one shot, rather, that was taken from the beginning to the end of the scene, which made it... Um, not uh, convenient or which made it boring to watch i felt that close-ups should have been taken and at some point the manila and, her, and her mike were going out of the frame of the camera that didn't work that made it not good enough next thing was the grammatical error errors there were some grammatical errors made by some actors in the movie some lines felt recited and the sound of the movie had issues at some point and the next thing was that you hosted a community outreach without telling your leader in church that i felt was not right i mean they were sharing their testimonies in the in the cell groups and then he said we hosted an outreach a community outreach you did not inform your leader that i felt wasn't good and realistic enough next thing was that bro felix wife was shouting on the top of her voice and was singing in one scene when bro felix was sleeping and then they told me that bro felix did not say anything they told me that bro felix did not um caution his wife for shouting so loud when he was sleeping she was shouting and sweeping when he was sleeping maybe they're trying to say maybe because he's a born again christian but i felt still even a born again christian as his wife she's supposed to know that you you don't shout on the top of your voice when singing when someone is having or when someone is resting ladies and gentlemen this is all i'm able to gather for the movie the custodian at last i'll be rating this one a seven over five bye for now catch you all later in the next one Kudu.